All right, we got you a great video coming from Rock House Gun and Pong. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said in the pre-intro, we are at Rock House Gun and Palm. That's at 5430 Highway 19 North in Meridian, Mississippi, 39307. And the phone number is 601-485-5895. They are a fully licensed FFL following all federal, state, and local laws. I'm not selling any firearms in this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what they have. I do not work for them. I just wanted to clear that up. I don't work for uh, our I'm not employed or work for Rock House Gun and Pawn in any way. Um, let's see, what else I want to say? Thank you to all the previous viewers and subscribers for coming back. All new viewers, remember, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications because you don't want to miss anything that happens here on R4 Mississippi Thunder. So, let's get into the video. All right, we got your awesome video coming. But I'm going to tell you a little story, just something you might want to laugh about because I can laugh about it now. Uh, can you imagine this big old fellow, okay, going backwards down a hill in my power chair here, trying to be the safest option, you know, trying to have the most stability. Well, somehow, I ended up falling backwards, landed on my back, but then I rolled over, tucking my neck, like doing a flip, back flip, front flip, I don't know, and landed on my face. Now, my sons and my wife were panicking, and I was kind of making sure that I could still feel everything. I hadn't broke my neck or nothing, but it, it was, uh, was kind of funny after the fact, but it wasn't funny when it happened. But y'all just, I just wanted to throw that in there, let y'all think about that, because um, that might be something you can kind of laugh about. Just imagine that in your head. All right, today we have got the Henry Lever Action. This is the X model. And they also make it in the regular model with the wood furniture and the unthreaded barrel and touches that. But this is the X model, and it's 360 buck hammer. Now, a 360 buck hammer has not been out long, but that is a cartridge. It's somewhat uh, compared to a 3030. Uh, some of them, some people compare it to a 35 rim. But the thing is, it's. Uh, a 35 rim is a neck down cartridge so that can't be used in those straight wall states that have all the uh all the restrictions you know you have to have a straight walled rifle cartridge for some of those states up north especially but i think overall it's a good cartridge and it's uh it you know being developed it's pretty flat shooting let me see do i have all that uh oh wait a minute let me get my hand there it is okay it's pretty flat shooting round out to about 250 yards so even though it is for those straight wall states it's probably something you might want to consider you know seems like a neat cartridge newer design you know uh it's a rimmed cartridge so it can't go in your sporting rifle just gonna have to be like turn it, turn it. either a uh lever action style well the only thing offered right now is the lever action because henry partnered with remington in making this the bullet diameter is three point or excuse me 0.358 and it's a, like I said, rim cartridge, straight wall. It bridges the, and okay. <laughs> and some people, if you keep researching, say it bridges the gap between 350 Legend and uh, 450 Bushmaster. But those two are made for like your modern sporting rifles. You know, they're a rimless cartridge or a rebated rim cartridge. So they're not lever action. So it kind of depends, you know, if you're looking for lever action versus a modern sporting rifle. Uh, let's see, like I said, great ballistics out to 450 yards. Now, this particular ammunition here is the Remington Corelock 360 buck hammer. And leaving the muzzle is going at 2180 feet per second. And the energy coming out of the muzzle is 2108. And you go out to 100 yards, it's still traveling at 1768. And the energy is 1388. 
200 yards, you're at 1419 with an energy of 894. And you only have uh, a nine point, uh, or yeah, a 9.8 inch drop at 200 yards if you zero at 100. And even at 250, it's about a 20 inch drop. You're still going 1200 feet per second, over 1200 feet per second, and getting an energy of 724. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I know I just spit all the information out, but I was gonna let you, kind of if you wanna pause that and get that little white box there. You can kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> All right, since we've done talked about the ammo, now we're going to talk about the Henry Buckhammer XF. Like I said, Remington and Henry partnered up to make this cartridge, or Remington made a cartridge, and Henry is the only one that produces a rifle. This particular one is the Model X model. It has a 21.375 inch barrel, <clears throat> okay? And it is a steel, steel blue steel barrel with a 1 in 12 twist and it's threaded uh, fit, uh, 5 eighths by 24 on the end here so it is threaded for your flash suppressors or uh, flash hiders and your you know if you want to do it the quiet cans or anything like that on there all right we'll put that back on now it is uh while we're here it's the side loading gate okay so if you want to top off you know, you can add your ammo here with the side loading gate. You, you know, if you just want to just add one or two or whatever. Uh, but also you have the option, you know, if you want to, it's a front loading here as well. Now, some people don't, you can just, you know, get that and you can just stack them in there. It's a five round tubular magazine. And you can slide that back in and close it up and you got it all loaded. Some people uh, don't like the front loading because the fact of you know if you do have one of those quiet cans or a big muzzle brake you can't use that you know you can't take this off if you have one of those quiet cans it's gonna you know hit it so that's something that people like the side loading gate for um but i like if you don't have one of those on there what's neat uh, easy and uh neat to me is after a, a hunt or something if you just want to unload everything you can just pull that out dump them out and you're done you don't have to sit there and take them through the action every time but of course if you do have something on there that impedes the end of that you have the side loading gate like i said you know it's easy if you just want to top off one or two or you can load all five through there but uh, if you want to unload not using the front you have to you know oops, you have to run them all through the, the action to get them all unloaded so that's what's neat about the front loading as well okay all right we got that cover we have on the top we have some high vis sights have a green here on the front fiber optic with a little cage around it to keep you from knocking it out then we have two little orange fiber optics here on the back now i don't know if we'll be able to get this sight picture it's usually hard to get a good sight picture on a rifle on camera on video especially yeah i got it you got it mm -hmm. all right well there's your sight picture now the front sight is fixed but the rear sight is fully adjustable with a uh windage and elevation uh moving on down we have a blue steel receiver. It's drilled and tapped for your optics mounts. And it takes a uh, Weaver type 63B mount there. You know, you can add that for any kind of red dot scopes, whatever you want to put on top of there. We've already talked about the side loading gate, talked about the uh, tubular magazine, da, da, da. Okay. Overall length from your butt pad to this tip here is 40 inches, 0.375. Uh, weight, it's a hefty boy because it is, you know, metal there. And it's eight pound or 8.07 pounds unloaded. Your length of pull, so you it's unloaded there, nothing in there, Let but your length closer. of, okay. okay, your length of pull is 14 inches. So that's your length of pull there. Uh, it is a black synthetic stock front forearm and buttstock here it has your it does have an m-lock accessory rail right here on the front 
right there and right there on both sides and as you can see can you get that you saw those mm -hmm. that's on both sides m lock accessory rail and you also have a little short section of picatinny rail there on the front as well and it doesn't have sling swivel it has sling attachment points that are molded into the stock so they're not going to swivel but you know you can put the straight mounts on the front there's one on the front and we have one recessed into the rear right there so that's nice you have a solid rubber but uh butt pad there recoil pad whatever you want to call it now uh a lot of people say it does not kick bad it does not have a lot of recoil so i don't know i have not shot it okay um we have a transfer transfer bar type safety in your hammer here you got an exposed hammer and if you have one in the chamber you can cock it back like that it's just you know it's like a single action type uh you can cock it back like that if you want to or when you actually chamber a round it will lay back like that and you can just take and lay it back you know until you get ready to fire because there is no external safety and then you can pull it back and be ready to fire at that point large loop here i like that easy to get your hand in the loop lever here i guess about all we are missing is and i love lever action uh rifles here for hunting i've hunted with one um a pretty good bit over the last couple of years nice smooth action there that's I, I just i can't get enough of that you know that that, that sound is just a, a gun lover's uh dream sound i guess you could say all right we're gonna check out the triggers now i'm gonna show you there's nothing in the chamber okay all right here we go so we're gonna test the trigger out pointed in a safe direction and like i said when you pull the hammer back it's pretty well real light there we're gonna see what it does here a little pressure okay i mean that that's that's nice that's real nice i like that pull that back here I mean, and see the, where the trigger resets there, and when the hammer goes back, you're gonna just, I mean, that's a nice, that's nice, that's real nice. It's real comfortable, ergonomic, I like the sights. Which, this is, if you get any of the Henry X models, you're gonna get basically, you know, I mean, basically the same package with the threaded barrel, the side and front lever gate, the loop, this is just in this 360 buck hammer, which is a new cartridge. It's a 200 grain projectile. Like I said, it's a 0.358 and moving at 2180 feet per second coming out of the muzzle. Well, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I like looking at this little jewel here and I hope you enjoyed that story in the front. I've still uh, got a little extra uh, soreness and pain going on from that <laughs> but hope you get a laugh out of that anyway hope you enjoyed this I want you to come back and see us on r4 mississippi thunder and for i have learned to be content in every circumstance that comes from philippians 411 in the good book so anyway god bless you and god bless america